Officially, now you notice something new in the jerseys, the names from the bottom of the, uh, underneath the number. And they're all wearing the same, and it's A. Collins in honor of President Tony Collins. Opening face off brought to the Connell Law Firm, working hard for hardworking people. We are underway. Evans did so. Did Evans, he scored in the game at Hobie Baker Arena. Or chased down by Martino on a giveaway. Martino behind the Princeton goal. Looks in front for a shot and a goal! And Zach Seiko. The giveaway stolen by the Knights. Sekos buries the chance. Knights won. Chris did nothing. Sekos on the one timer from the slot puts it into the back of the Princeton net. The assist will go to Ayrton Martino. It's his 11th of the season for Zach Sekos. The Knights lead early here, just outside of five minutes into this contest. So we are back. Underway, Princeton wins the faceoff, and a shot goes on. Musatelli makes a stick save. Now for Beck at the high slot. Back for Jacob, right circle for Beck. Towards the net, tipped in a goal! Went it off somebody, and may have been a Princeton player, but it goes in. It's a 2 0 lead for the Knights. It's going to be Noah Beck on the goal for the Golden Knights. And it went off of David Ma, I believe, right in front of the net. Beck will be credited with the goal. And Beck's been another one of those players who's been hot as of late. He had two goals in the game at St. Lawrence in that comeback for a shootout victory. And now Beck's the one who puts him up by another one. It's 2-0, the Knights lead here with 4.27 to go in the first. Seitz, Seitz moves to the high slot, waits and delay. Seitz passes over Evans for a shot. Musatelli a save, rebound save again by Musatelli. Wins it back below the goal line. Tigers. Now pass for Romano for a chance, and a goal! Campbell stolen behind the net, he finds Romano. The Knights take a 3-0 lead. Romano will get credit for the goal. That was all set up by Noah Beck, able to bring it in. And what a move on the blue line there, a toe drag. And then down in the corner, Campbell sends it right in front for Romano. The assist, I believe, will go to Campbell and Gosselin. Not sure if Gosselin got a touch on it or not, but he was down in the corner in the play as well. Could be. Could be Beck who sent it in from the left point. Either way, it's a 3-0 Knights lead. 17-17 to go in the second period and on there. Around the Knights, Tigers net. Knights keep it alive. Gosselin settles across for Jacob. Right circle, Jacob. Back across for a shot for Romano. And a goal! Romano from Gosselin and Jacob. It's a power play goal for the Knights. They now lead it 4-0. We talked about special teams play being important. Now two for two on the power play. Anthony Romano with the most recent of them. Jacob will get his second assist. And Romano finds the back of the net. It's a 4-0 Clarkson lead. 7-13 to go in the second period of play. One point stopped here by Richardson towards the net. Knocked down by the Tigers. Loose puck, Callan waits. Nice cross for a chance, and a goal for Santerno. It's 5-0. Goal the Knights in the lead. 6 39 to go here, period number two. Luke Santerno continues to add. And just about a minute apart, the Knights pouring the offense on here right after the media timeout. Now 5-0 lead. 3.05 to go second period. Clarkson has scored three times in the second period. They lead at 5-0. Santerno passes in front for a shot, save again, rebound, and a goal! It's Martino! Making it 6 0 for the Golden Knights. So the select passing from Santerno to Martino. And the Knights have to go for number two. And Martino avenges getting robbed by the post back in the first period. He had two chances right in front of the crease and didn't capitalize on either of them. Now finds the back of the net here for a 6 0 Knights lead. It's his fifth goal of the season, 18th point. Actually, 19th point. He had an assist. For Paolini again. 35 to go in the period. Shot towards goal, save made, rebound, loose, and it goes in. It's a goal for Murphy. Power play goal for Murphy with 32.1 to go, making it six to one. <laughs> oh, was it right for now for Callblay? Knight's killing it in five seconds. Callblay to his left for Campbell. Let's back off for Jacob. Jacob dancing in, holds. 
Back for Tommy Passanen towards the net, scores! Tommy Passanen with one second to go in the four on four. Scores the goal, 12-0-1 to go in the third, 7-0-1 Golden Knights. Bobby, well, you talked about it back in the first, Passanen, one of those guys, especially in the second semester here, that has really come on strong. His second goal this season now, and what a time to do it. One second left on the four on four, right before the Princeton penalty would be released, and the Knights just about to go on the penalty kill. Now, one more goal of reinforcement there. It's seven to one. The Knights lead thanks to passing in. As they the Knights will win their 16th of the year, their 11th in league play. As held behind the goal, the fans have been remaining on their feet. It's a final. The Knights come up with the 7-1 victory. Two goals for Romano. Secos and Beck in the first period. Romano, Romano, Santerno, Martino. And then Passanen in the third period of play for the Golden Knights. A 7-1 final score. Big offensive performance tonight. What are your thoughts on tonight's game? I thought it was a, a pretty solid 60 minutes for us. I thought we really set the tempo early with our physical play. Was really excited about that because I don't think that's been a strength for us this year. Um, good. A lot of different guys chip in and the power play was really good. Since the game at New Hampshire, we've seen a much different offense and a lot of games with, with plenty of goals. What's been the switch in the second half of the season here to get that going? Well, I think it's what we thought was going to happen. For whatever reason, early we were with some young guys and lines not clicking, but now we're, we're playing well. We got to keep it going because this is a big Now you look forward to tomorrow. Big game with Quinnipiac coming here. What do you guys have to do to keep this going and keep the same momentum into tomorrow? Well, I think we got to keep playing like our backs against the wall because it really is on the, you know, on the national. We're chasing Quinnipiac in the ECAC play. So, I, I mean, it's, it's going to be a physical, it's going to be a tough game. And, and we got to be at our best if we want to beat them. Coach, thanks for the time. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Now alongside Jacob Moose tell you, Moose, another win for you here. You continue what's been a great streak of games for you. What's been the key to success in all the games? We just day by day coming in the Monday starting off right. And just translating that into the weekend. A seven goal performance for the offense tonight. You guys, since that game at New Hampshire, 4.6 goals scored. How does that help you in that, knowing that the offense is going to bail you out if you let one in? Yeah, it definitely makes it a lot easier. Gives you more confidence in front of you because you got three or four goals up on the other team. But I think it just uh, takes some relief off you, knowing that you got a couple goals on the other team. So not too much. You just can't lose your focus throughout the game. But Now you look forward to Quinnipiac tomorrow, a stacked offense. What's going to have to happen to be able to stonewall them, similar to what you've been doing against the other team? Yeah, I don't think we take it any differently. I think we go into tomorrow with the same mindset as today. We've got to respect our opponent and just take it to them tomorrow. That's on the win. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, thank you. Back up to you, buddy.